how to use ship station ship station for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use ship station so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know what ship station is ship station is a shipping software and you can see over here we have dhl ups and united states postal service so we can go ahead and use this to ship our products and down below we can see all of the companies that are affiliated with it so let's go ahead and sign up and get started so there is a pricing plan so as you can see over here if you click on it so here you can see uh, ship station ships over 7500 uh, ships a month and they have a very high volume so over here they give you unlimited shipping volume and helps you fulfill more orders and faster you can schedule a demo with them later on the carries you want the discounts you need are all over here over here if you can see ship stations promise if you're not satisfied for any reason within the 90 days you get a full refund no questions asked so it's pretty great service that they're offering so let's go ahead and create an account and try it for free so we click on a try it for free and here you will just simply enter in your first name your last name your company name email password phone and you should be good to go so let's go ahead and get started so i'm just simply going to fill out this form and see you in a sec and over here as you can see uh, we are in our free trial has started and these are the pricing plans that ShipStation has. So over here, uh, since this is the starter plan, it's going to be $9.99 shipments per month. We only get 50 shipments per month. And one user is included and branded packaging slips and live chat support is also included. Then we have the bronze, silver, gold, and it goes up over to high volume, which is almost $400 in which you can send unlimited shipments, 15 users, customized packing slips phone and live chat and you have more options down below as you can see right here so it's pretty cool but for now we're gonna stick with the free trial and get started so over here as you can see you have to set up a few things you have to connect your store whether it's shopify amazon ebay e-commerce etsy and then you have to set a ship from location so you have to add a location where you want to ship your packages from but buying a label requires starting from somewhere so keep that in mind you have to set up your carriers and rates and you also have to set a label layout so that way when they package you or send the package they'll be able to apply that to all the other labels across all of your carriers as well so keep that in mind so if you don't have a store you can add an order or import the csv file and you are good to go or you can just simply create a single label so let's go ahead and connect shopify i already have a shopify account so i'm just simply gonna log in into that all right so here we go here we are logged in into our shopify store now we just simply come over here and click on setup store connection it's gonna load up in a second over here and here you just input your shopify domain which is this one right here if we go over to our online store let me actually go ahead and see the theme of it and see if it's okay this is it right here we'll just copy it come back over here input our domain should exclude okay we'll get rid of that there you go that's my store i'll even get rid of this one as well and click on connect give it a couple of seconds and here we go all right so here we just simply install the application click on install it's loading up as you can see right here it's gonna take some time and there we go great jobs as you can see right here our shopify store is now connected and now we can go ahead and ship our product so if we come over here at the top you will see you have a bunch of different options right insights orders shipments and products if we click on products here we will see all of the products that we have uh, but since uh, my store is brand new and i don't have any products so it's going to be pretty empty over here but you can find your products in the product section and you will have all your customer scans and add-ons and the other stuff as well if you want to complete your profile if you click on get started over here you can see connect your store this was the first step we already done that you have to then add shipping services and then you can set the shipping addresses right and your account will be fully set up and integrated and over here as you can see as i said before since i don't have any products it's going to be empty but now let's go ahead and set up shipping services so if we click on shipping station carriers so we have to uh, save rates on carriers and we have to create an account on stamps.com all right as you can see right here that way we can easily go ahead and do that but uh let's say if we don't have this account can we still on continue third party tracking add-ons like ad blockers restrict okay 
All right. So now, as you can see right here, if you have a stamps.com account, you can add that over here. But if you don't, we will click on continue setup. And now over here, we have to set up payments terms and add funds and we should be good to go so here just simply add in your credit card number your personal or business add the country address and phone number and you should be good to go so i'm just simply going to skip this for now because i don't want to add my credit card over here because sometimes i forget to take it off and then after a month i get charged so i'm not going to do that for now next we have set ship from address we're going to go ahead and set shipping over here so over here you have to add the location name ship from address over here whether it's residential or you know if it's professional residential or commercial whatever you want to call it add your full name company country and street address and then you have your other stuff as well so it's very straightforward nothing too crazy just fill out this form and you should be good to go and once you've done that you can connect more stores as well and you can enable carriers and set a label layout so to do that you have a preview over here so you can see uh four by six label prints are going to be something like this and these are going to be traditional laser prints these are zebra dymo etc and these are lasers inject etc so you can sample a preview over here right the resample label and you'll understand what it means so this is the first one all right and this is the second one choose whichever label you want and you should be good to go right so you just simply select the label you want over here as you can see this is the shipping this is the label and this is the label over here or if you want you can go with this one 11 by 8.5 it has the label and shipping slip in one as the second one so choose whichever one you want and click on save settings and there you go it is done your label is now set and all that's left for you to do is set your shipping location and rates and then once you have done that you're going to want to set up your products in order so make sure that you have it you're going to find orders over here whenever you get a new order they're going to pop up over here and then you can set them out by over here in the product section send out those products for your orders and you should be good to go and another cool thing are their add-ons as you can see right here on the left hand side and we click on add-ons the add-ons that are available to us so we have auto split uh qb scan and each of these add-ons are individually priced so you can go ahead and try them for free and see if they work or not and each of them have their own uh, you know uh, purpose so dropship manager it connects you with the ship station vendors to automate your orders uh delegation but it's going to cost you 150 dollars per month so i don't know if you are a fan of add-ons but if you wanted something uh done or if you wanted a feature that you know ship station didn't have then you can go ahead and check them out as well you also have rates over here so you can set up uh, different rates so over here you can go ahead and rate browsing requires for shipment so if you click on browse rates uh, you also have to add in uh, all of the postal codes so let's say uh, we add the postal codes over here the weight is let's say around two pounds and three ounces uh, package type you can go ahead and say just package size i don't know what a size is it but let's say it's in length and 20 by width it's 10 by 20 or 20 we'll just say it's 40 by 40 actually 40 by 40 and 40 uh, let's say delivery and service you can say one day uh, let's go ahead and browse rates but for that i think we need postal codes so add that postal code and now let's go ahead and click on browse rates uh one more carrier could not return rates so if you click over here uh i think we need to set up something else but you know it depends on you but yeah once you've figured it out once you've added the shipping rates ship from or ship to then you can go ahead and do it. okay i changed up the postal codes now maybe that it'll work let's go ahead and check it out this is from new york this is to seattle but i don't think it worked but you know you can figure that out as well but for now i think we'll leave it at that uh, but yeah this is how you do it this is how you use ShipStation and how you can use it to manage all of your shipments for your business so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye